Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth. Now, I know there's a glare. Clearly, I have my glasses on. So, yeah, um, I'm probably going to put my contacts on uh, later tonight. But for right now, um, the glasses are going to have to get the job done. Um, all right, let's get into this mess. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Neo, Neo. This is according to the Shade Room. Um, ooh, <laughs> looks like Neo wanted to make a few things clear. Um, the superstar says that the opinions of him and his personal life don't mean anything to him. So this is what Mr. Neo had to say in his story. Um, I just need the whole world to understand this. Your opinions of me and, your, and my personal life don't mean anything to me. My kids love me. My women love me. That's nothing to brag about. That's that's how you know. That's how you know people just don't care, sir. The ink ain't even dried on the divorce papers, <laughs> and you out here talking about my women love me. <laughs> do they? Or do they just see a walking trick? <laughs> okay. Um, my future is bright as F. I don't even have time to concern myself with what y'all think. I feel like the father and the nutty professor. Y'all really think I'd be listening to you? I don't be listening to you. <laughs> I might come from the Amorion school of unbotheredness. Girl, you know, one on uh, popular opinion, Amorion was always bothered. I hope everybody sees I hope everybody that needs to see this sees it because I've already wasted too much time trying to let y'all know. Feel how y'all want to feel about me. I'm still going to sleep comfortably as H-E-L-L -L tonight and every night following. Meanwhile, you mad because I'm living. The TF, how's that working out for you? Okay, back to, the, back to regularly scheduled program. Healthy, smart, and beautiful kids. Limitless bank accounts, beautiful baby mamas, front of, front, front of you want to, they all bad, and lady friends that love my dirty draws. Life is good in my future voice. Not love y'all, not, not, not y'all love his dirty draws. Now run and, run and tell the shade room I said that, sad mother effers. Let me say something. The first thing is this. Amarion, you just took time out of your, what did you say? Scheduled program. You just took time out of your scheduled program to come down to, come down to uh, Instagram and, and write one, one, two, three, four, five stories. Because the last story he put was, I don't smile all the time just because my ish is beautiful. I smile because I'm happy as F. Go get you some. So you took time out of your schedule to come and let us know that you're not bothered. When, girl, can I tell y'all something? I don't know if the people know what unbothered means. Unbothered is not taking time out of your schedule to come down to the World Wide Web to let us know that you're not concerned about what people have to say and to let us know that you're actually unbothered. When it's giving bothered. <laughs> unbothered would have been you going about your business, you going about your life. Unbothered would have been how we just saw you in a club with your, the baby mama that you cheated on Crystal with, that's unbothered to me because you're you doing what you want to do. You don't care what people have to say. Yes, I just got a divorce and yes, I'm in a club with my side chick turned who whatever she might have turned into. She might still be a side chick. I don't know, honey. You get what I'm saying? Unbothered is Beyonce. Remember when Karuchi, see this is old school, this is for some of the old school girls. Remember when Karuchi came out on 106 in Park and she made that joke about Blue Ivy? This was years ago, clearly, because it was on 106 in Park. And I think Beyonce still appeared at the BET Awards that year or the following year. Girl, that's unbothered. Unbothered is Kenya Moore. 
when Wendy used to drag Kenya Moore on the Wendy Williams show and Kenya would still twirl around that corner and promote whatever she needed to promote, that's unbothered. <laughs> Unbothered is not taking time out of your out of your your Saturday, the gorgeous Saturday, to let us know that you're unbothered. Because in fact, it's giving bothered. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Neo. Shout out to Neo. <laughs> oh, we baby, listen to this. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this, baby. <laughs> this is according to Radar Online. Rich the Kid accused a $35,000 hush money agreement to keep pregnancy a secret from Beyonce, Tory Bricks, court documents. Um, so, rapper Rich the Kid has been slapped with a bombshell lawsuit accusing him of, agree uh, uh, of agreeing to pay $35,000 to a woman he knocked up an effort to keep the news from his fiance Tori Bricks radaronline.com has learned um, according to court documents obtained by radaronline.com a woman using the pseudonym uh, Jane Doe filed a bombshell lawsuit against the rapper in uh, Massachusetts court in the lawsuit, Doe said Rich the Kid had a concert in Boston on January the 28th, 2023. She said he held a private event at a nearby hotel. Doe attended the event. She said while at the hotel in Boston, she engaged in unprotected sexual relations at the request of Rich the Kid. Can I say something about you two, you old nasty? Girl, listen, we done all, we done all had unprotected sex. We're not going to sit here and act like we haven't. But girl, <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it because you want to do it, not because, girl, somebody requested you to do it. <laughs> At the request of him, we had... Um... <sighs> Anyways, let me go. I was about to go into a whole rant. Um, she said also on January the 28th um, to the 29th, Rich the Kid, um, A-U-S-S-A-U-L-T-E-D, uh, Doe, aggressively and without permission touched Doe and attempted to prevent Doe from leaving the Boston MA Hotel. Now, you know, Doe is the woman, okay? She's using Jane Doe as her name. The suit accused Rich the Kid of having uh, violently grabbed Doe and removed her coat to prevent her from leaving the hotel. She said the rapper committed battery against her. Um, Doe said she eventually left over his objection. However, he allegedly followed her out of the hotel and jumped into her Uber. She allowed him to remain in the Uber, which took them to her place. Doe attached a screenshot of Rich the Kid outside of her home um, on, the ring, on her ring camera. Um, Doe said uh, she had sexual relations with Rich the Kid at her home. Doe said they had unprotected sexual relations as a result of sexual contact. Doe became pregnant. Um, Doe said she contemplated having her child. I, I, can I say something? This is no tea, no shade to Doe, but Doe, you, you almost sound like an idiot. You, I, I don't know if Doe sound like an idiot or Doe just trying to get, get, a, get a quick money grab. Because I feel like that's, I really feel like that's part of it. I, feel, I really feel like that's part of it. Because she knew he was an easy lick. She knew he was an easy lick. Let me go ahead and, girl, get this, get, get this man some Boonchie Cat. <laughs> Come on, Boonchie Cat. I made my mind up last night. I'm calling it Boonchie Cat. The Boonchie Cat is going to be for the girls, and the bussy is going to be for the boys. <laughs> okay? Um, but, girl, you you know, let me get this man some Boonchie Cat. Um, hopefully, I can get knocked up and then get a couple of dollars out of it. That's what it sounds like to me, quiet as it's kept. Um... The woman pointed out that Rich the Kid is engaged to Tory Bricks. Um, I'm not reading all of this. Hold up. Okay. However, Doe said Rich the Kid made two payments uh, but still owes $25,000. Um, the suit accused him of violating the deal and demands he pay the remaining balance. Rich has yet to respond to the lawsuit. Doe's powerhouse attorney 
um, those powerhouse attorney, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, is that him? Is that, that, that's that the attorney name? I guess her attorney name is Chris Brown. This one, Chris, what, 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 what he got to do with this? <laughs> so I guess those powerhouse attorney, Chris Brown, had no comment on the case. So I guess her attorney name is Chris Brown. That's actually kind of funny. Um, yeah, it sounds like to me, you know, this is the thing, right? This is this this is the thing. A lot of these women know, you know. Can I say something? Y'all not get mad at me. <laughs> can I say something? Because <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not trying to make nobody mad today. <sighs> Everybody don't have goals in life. <laughs> Everybody don't have goals in life to, you know, become successful and you know, become the first lady and become, you know, the biggest rap star or the biggest singer in the world. Some of the girls and boys I heard, some of the girls and some of the boys, okay, they okay with just scamming through life and trying to get a quick money grab, you know? And I feel like in some of these cases with some of these women, um, they know that these men are easy tricks. They just know it. They know that, girl, it don't take that much, girl, it don't really take no effort at all. Girl, if I know I'm halfway cute, and even then you ain't even got to really be that, but if I know I'm halfway cute, if I know I might got a little booty on me, girl, I know I can get this man to sleep with me unprotected, get pregnant, girl, and then try to walk away with $35,000. You know what I'm saying? These glasses getting on my nerve. These vintage. These are vintage Dolce & Gabbana <laughs> for the girls who don't know. You know, we don't say old. We say vintage. These are vintage Dolce & Gabbana. There's a story behind these glasses. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the only reason why I got these glasses. Quick story. The only reason why I got these glasses is because the white fish that was at the, um, at the uh, eye place tried to act. She, I felt like she thought I couldn't afford them. So I really got it just to, just to, just to, just to, just to kind of like pop my collar. Even though, girl, I, like, I still liked them too. But she was trying to get me to look at, um, these are the ones that are 50. I don't want to look at those. I want to look at these. The, I want to look at this case right here. That, that, no, I want to look at that case. I think that was like two something. This was when I used to work at this place called Telecheck here in Houston. And I had insurance. And um, I think with my insurance, it wasn't even expensive. Girl, I got some extra stuff on them. Like, you know, I get them extra non-scratch lens. I don't know, child, was a lot going on. But I think no, I think the I think it was like so supposed to be like one something, but then when I got some extra stuff added, it came out to be like two something. Girls, here got my card, girl. <laughs> girl, this ain't nothing some little change. And I think I just got my refund check from school too. So you know I thought I was balling. Okay. Anyways, um, but yeah. It is, is this microphone? Okay. Anyways, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know what's going on with Rich the Kid and this woman. Could she be lying? Yes, yeah, always a possibility that somebody lying. But, you know, <laughs> we, like I said, girl, we know these men are easy tricks. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. <laughs> it don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. Anyways. All right, y'all. Let's move on. Don Lemon, he, um, I will say this much. Shout out to Don Lemon, honey. <laughs> That's my rich auntie. So this is what Don Lemon had to say. You know, he made an appearance the other night. He seemed like he was in great spirits, okay? Um, so this is what he had to say on the red carpet, okay? Seemed like you're doing okay, okay, but was it truly a surprise? Okay. I'm not making headlines. What it was what a surprise? Leaving well, CNN. I think that my statement speaks for itself. Yeah, it was a surprise, but life goes on. You know, that's behind me, and we'll see what happens in the future. But 
Do you have a game plan for what's next? Are you going after the company? What's going on? Give me a... I'm, I'm going to spend my summer on the beach and on the boat and with my family and just chill out, and then I'll see what happens next. But I am fortunate enough to be in a position where I can do that, where I have time. I don't have to rush to another job, if, even if I want another job. I do. I want to work again, but... I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I don't have to worry about those things. You seem excited for a new chapter. I am excited for a new chapter because I think, you know, life is short. And you have to, whatever life hands you, you have to bob and weave and, and, and do it. I didn't think my, I would be at work one day, one evening, and I'd get a phone call that my sister had died. But I had to deal with that. I didn't think that, you know, my dad would die young of diabetes. I had to deal with that. You know, and so there are lots of things that come your way that, that are unexpected, but I'm a survivor. I come from strong, sturdy stock in Louisiana, and a lot of people who are rooting for me and who love me. And, of course, this man standing right behind you. Yeah, Tim, so you're, you're leaning on this guy quite a bit, I assume. A lot. Has he been driving you nuts? No. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. But it's nice you're out. But I always drive him nuts, so it's, it's nothing no different. different other but as you know, he's my biggest supporter, so, yeah. 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 Is there anything you would have done differently looking back? No, I lived my life with no regrets. And um, whatever I did, I did, and I own. And so, no, I don't look back, and I don't want to change things in the past. I, I would love to bring my sister back, but that's not going to happen. You can't change. You can't turn back time, and you can't go, you know, in the in the past. So, onward. All right, Mom. You seem like... The first thing is this, girl. You know how many people in the comment sections did not know Don Lemon was gay? I said, okay. Um, <laughs> they were really shocked when they saw him holding the hand, of, when they saw him holding that white man um, hand. <sighs> um, I honestly, believe it or not, I really don't think that Don Lemon is at his home losing his mind i don't i really don't you know how some people lose their jobs you know like when chris cuomo lost his job chris cuomo came out, i said baby it's a white it's girl like i told y'all baby it's a girl girl to be white girl chris cuomo came out the other day and told us the girl he was about to go back up to the building and baby set it off girl set it off go hello that's what chris cuomo said because he lost his job he said he was about to let it girl rain down on them girl he was about to let it rain down on the girls okay um but i don't think don lemon is at his house girl rocking back and forth because i really think that don lemon thinks girl i didn't do nothing to lose my job like, yes, Don Lemon has been in the headlines. We knew Don was about to lose his job. Now, Don, you are lying when you say that, girl. You didn't, th you didn't think he was about to lose your job because, girl, you didn't, see it. you didn't see it coming. Yes, you did, girl. We saw it coming, girl, since last year. <laughs> okay? Girl, we've been seeing it coming. Now, just because we saw it coming, I still don't think that. Besides, I will say this much, girl. Besides what I was hearing in the streets about ABUSE claims, now, that's a good enough reason to lose your job, we know. The other stuff, it was just like, girl, you know, so I don't think that Don thinks that I, like, I didn't do anything to lose my job. Like, girl, they fired me. It is what it is. But one thing, let me say, I, one, one thing I want to say about my, my, good, uh, my good rich auntie, Don Lemon. Girl, Don basically just told y'all, girl, I'm rich. Girl, I'm wealthy. Girl. Girl, I'm about to go out this summer. Girl, be on the boat. Y'all hear he said he gonna be on the boat? I'm about to hang out with my family. I'm about to get drunk. Girl, and when I decide to start working, girl, I work. Other than that, child, I'm in a situation where financially I'm okay. There are people out there in the world that lose their jobs, and girl, they don't know what they're gonna do. They gotta sell a little boochie cat on the side, a little bussy on the side. <laughs> gotta start, you know, making fish plates and barbecue plates. Shout out to Tasha K, okay? Um, but girl, I'm not in that situation. So, you know, mama is good. That's how I want to be one day. <laughs> oh, I want to be like that. Ain't that the goal? To like, if you lose your job, you just be like, okay. <laughs> girl, I mean, I guess. <laughs> girl, them girls fire me. Girl, them girls fire me, girl. <laughs> girl, be like, girl, them girls fire me. Girl, what you doing this summer? Girl, I'm about to go. I'm, girl, I'm, going, to, I'm going to the vacation. I'm going to my vacation home. 
girl, because you got so much money saved up and so much stuff going on with girl. You'd be like, girl, I might take like a year or two off. I might start, I might start looking at something. I don't know, girl. Right now, girl, I don't even catch out. What I think Don Lemon needs to do is, you know, believe it or not, the YouTube podcast, that route, I feel like is a new way to go. I think Don Lemon has enough money, enough power. He knows he has enough access and resource to start his own thing. He really does. He can start his own little podcast, do what he want to do. He ain't got to rush back to cable TV. I think that's the route he should take. I really do. I think that would be really cute for Don. Anyways, shout out to Don. Now, this is what I wanted to this. This is why I really wanted to talk about Don, because I want to talk about this health. Republican pr presidential candidate Nikki Haley says Americans will have to rely on uh, Kamala Harris because Joe Biden will likely die in five years. So this is what she said. And I'm going to tell you why I'm mentioning this, okay? So Nikki Haley, a Republican uh, presidential uh, contender, is taking a shot at President Biden's age. Um, Haley 51 told Fox News he's announced that he's running again in 2024. And I think that we can all be very clear and say with a matter of fact that if you vote for Joe Biden, you are really counting for, you're really counting on President Harris because the idea that he would make it until 86 years old is not something that I think is likely. And this is what I put in the comment section. But y'all got mad because Don Lemon said she was past her prime. And Miss Mama's out here handing out death sentences. So this is all I'm going to say. <laughs> For the people who don't know, people got mad at Don Lemon because Don has said that Nikki was past her prime. And, you know, he had got suspended from work and he had to go to these, you know, sensitivity classes. That's when I was like, oh, girl, they about, to, they about to put the nail in the coffin. But that's when I knew right then. I was like, oh, they about to put the nail in the coffin. Girl, it's, it's, girl they, they, they wrapping it up for Mr. Don. <laughs> okay. So this is all I'm saying. The people that were outraged about what Don said. You have to be outraged that this lady just went out there on a public platform and killed off the president of the United States at the age of 86. Like, girl! <laughs> you can't say she in her prime, but she can kill somebody off? <sighs> Please make it make sense to me. Because it, it don't make sense to me. But I guess that's what happens. I guess that's what happens when you're a white woman. You can pretty much say what you want to say. The nickels got to be careful, okay? Because you go out there acting, you go out there and say, that's what probably Don, that's why Don probably, that's what Don messed up, honey. Don, you were sleeping with that white man, and you thought that white man, mm-mm. Girl, them people reminded you real fast, you still a nook at the end of the day, baby. And they, um, fired your black ass. Anyways, but shout out to my auntie Don. Hey, Don. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Let me go take these, take these glasses. I'll put these contacts on because these glasses actually are getting on my nerves. All right. Bye, y'all.